Hey everybody, I hope you're all having a good evening. Just want to make a quick video to show you an upgrade that I just made and some trials and tribulations I had with it. This is the McEwen 3D right here, this nice gold anodized unit. The McEwen 3D Mark 8 or Flexi 1 Basic extruder mechanism. This comes, this used to be just called the Mark 8, but they now have made an upgraded version of it and the upgraded version is called the Flexi 1 Plus and this one is the Flexi 1 Basic. It replaces the stock Creality Ender 3 extruder mechanism completely. Comes with all the screws, comes with everything you need, and comes with two PTFE Bowden tube connectors. It's a very easy swap to make. It even comes with a new gear. But you'll notice, and let me shift the camera around, and I'll show you real quick what the stock Ender 3 one looks like. I kind of got it set up over here the way it came off. You'll notice, oops, let me adjust the camera angle a bit. There we go. You'll notice right, if you can see it, there's almost no space. The, um, the filament comes in this way, fed through the gear and the roller. There is almost no space between where the filament comes out of the gear and where it enters the body here and then into the Bowden and the Bowden tube. That's one of the reasons why the Ender 3 is able to use some types of flexible filament because there's no room for it to go nuts. You know, there's no unsupported space between here and here for the filament to go nuts. Let's go back over to the new one. And the print's about to start here. Should have waited, but I didn't. Let's go back and take a look back here again. When you first put this thing together, the first thing you'll notice is, wow, look how much unsupported space there is. And I shoved the Bowden tube in, and maybe I just misunderstood the directions, but I didn't realize I was not supposed to leave all this unsupported space. So, of course, I had a great big tangle of filament out here the size of a baseball, or not quite that big. It was probably only four or five minutes I turned my back on it. But I got to read the instructions again, and he called this a pass-through fitting, meaning the Bowden tube can be pushed all the way through. So what you're supposed to do is cut your point on the Bowden tube and push it all the way up to where it's up, almost up against the gear and the roller. And if it is, if it's up against it, all it's going to do is grind its way clear, so it's not going to hurt anything if it's actually touching and that gives you the full support. On the Flexi One Plus, and there goes my print job I started. Probably going to go back and hit the tripod. No, it actually didn't. On the Flexi One Plus, he's put in a steel piece in place of the Bowden tube from here to here. And it's got the point ground into it. And then it sticks out here and there's a collar that threads to it. And then the Bowden tube threads to that collar. And he's nice enough with this basic kit to provide you with two of these pass through Bowden tubes. So once I realized I was supposed to do that, I got it to print really well. It works, It's working really good now. So another thing I like about this is this spring is completely supported, or almost completely supported. This bolt here goes through about, I don't know, eight, nine millimeters or so, and supports this into the spring. Then he gives you, and this is really interesting, he gives you another cap head screw and you just insert it into the spring and set it here. And then this cap screw here threads in into the Allen part where the tool would go of this and allows you to adjust it. But it also means the spring is very well supported. It's not going to go flying out on you if you do something kooky like, and the Ender 3 had a couple of little plastic tabs to keep it in there. But this is much better. It's going to allow for much easier replacement when you have to work on that spring. He also gives you a little piece of tube that's pointed here to put in to give it support through this. Not really convinced that's necessary, but he does it, and that's nice. Comes with all the screws you need. This bolt here, this cap screw here that holds it down, holds the rotating arm down to the plate, it is properly sleeved, so you can tighten that cap screw without binding this arm down to the body where it won't turn anymore. That's a nice touch. They should all have it. 
Now, one thing I did discover on Thingiverse is one of these, and I'm going to try and lay this over there so you can see it without messing my print job up. Let's see if I can set that right down there so you can see it. This is a little plastic printed piece, and they're on Thingiverse. I'll put the link in. It goes in place, and it gives the printer, gives the extruder assembly, basically the same profile as the Ender 3 stock one had. And you can see I'll show you the Ender 3 stock piece next to it, if I can. Let's get it up here. See, it's got that same... It's got that same little point to it to, to support the to support the filament between here and here. Now, this is this works fine. It's kind of a chore getting the, the filament to go through it when you change filament, but it certainly works fine. Oh, in the stock two PTFE Bowden tube that came with the Ender 3, it would not go all the way through this pass-through fitting. It's just too big. I measured it and it's I think if I remember right, the, the replacement tube I bought, and I bought like 8 or 10 meters of replacement Bowden tube, it was like 4.11 millimeters, and the one that came with the Ender 3 is like 4.21, and it would not go through. So I wound up having to replace the whole Bowden tube, which is fine. So this, is, this works fine, but I am going to try the piece from Thingiverse to replace it, just because I think it might make it a little easier to thread new filament in through it. Anyway, that's my quick review of the McEwen Mark 8 Flexi 1 Basic Extruder. I think it's a really nice solid replacement for the stock plastic piece. I like the way the spring is supported. Honestly, like everything about it. You might want to consider the Plus that has the solid metal piece all the way up to here. I think it's about 10 bucks more. But I think the plastic piece from Thingiverse will probably do the same job. Pushing the Bowden through, tube through all the way is certainly acceptable as well. Seems to work really well. So I'm quite happy with it. And love how pretty it is. Really, make, really stands out. So that's it. Hope this did you some good. I'm going to be back next time. I have an extruder assembly also here from... Whoops. From... TH3D Studios. It looks to be almost the exact same thing except without the pass-through fitting here. So there's going to have to be something placed in there to support that. I tried the fitting and I can't get the... it is not a pass-through fitting. You could put the pass-through fitting on it and then slide it through, but we're going to try that plastic piece from Thingiverse in these to see how well that works. Hope you enjoyed this video. Like and subscribe if you did. If you want an Ender 3, if you don't have one or just want another one, please click my link and go to GearBest and buy one. Won't cost you any more by clicking my link and it'll help me out a little bit. Thanks and have a great evening.